had a band. I have a band here that is mid resistance. You always can use lighter or heavier, depending on strength and mobility on your body. So let's start just for a little uh, activation, mobility to the shoulders. Your arm is going to be straight in front, in front of your heart. And let's just exhale, open, activating the back of the shoulders. And you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. You want to have a little good tension here. Squeezing the shoulder blades. And close. Exhale, open. Make sure that you are closing your ribs here. Right here. You don't have to extend, right? Core engaged, shoulders back. Inhale, release. Do one more. Now a little more space between your hands, so you have a little less tension on this band. Arm, your hands, arms come all the way down uh, by your knees. We're gonna exhale, start to pull out on the band to have a better land. You're gonna try to roll your shoulders all the way back. Relax when the band finds the floor. We're gonna exhale again, close the ribs, reach the arms away, trying to keep the elbows straight. Roll all the way forward. One more each direction. Lift in the spine. Roll the shoulders. Feels very good in the front of the shoulders. One more time. You're gonna really take your time passing the arms behind your head. And down. All the way. Very good. Hands now are gonna be shoulder width apart. I'm gonna be up on my knees. I need to move. We're gonna be up on the knees, arms are forward, shoulder width apart. You're gonna open the band, slightly rotate your torso to the right. Inhale, return. Exhale to the left. Look right between your hands. Inhale, center. Exhale, shoulders down and back. Right. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Now the arms go, chest go, the head go to the opposite side. Inhale, center. And center, last one. Center, last one to the left. Looking to the right. And back to center. Just shake out the shoulders a little bit. Let's bring the band under the knees. Just make sure that your it is stable, your knees are really holding. I have the band, the other edge of the band on my right hand, elbow close to my rib, reach the opposite arm long to the floor. You're gonna exhale, reach up, stretch towards the left, inhale, return, bend the elbow down. Two more, up, stretch, return, Bend the elbow, last one. And return. Let's just switch sides here. My band is not too long, so I'm really on the edge of the band. You're gonna always readjust and try out whatever tension works for you. Make sure that it's comfortable on your shoulder. Reach the opposite arm down, exhale up. Stretch up and over. Inhale, return. Bend the elbows down by your ribs. Exhale up. Keep the glutes squeezed. Hips push it forward. And return. Last one. And return. Bring your elbow all the way down. Let's lie down on the back. Arms up to the ceiling. Uh, I'm giving myself a little space between the hands so you don't have too much tension. Shoulders back and down. You always can adjust for yourself. Take your legs up to a tabletop one at a time. We're going to exhale, reach the legs, curl up, open the bend, shoulders back. 
Inhale, return. Three more. And back. Two. Last one. Always keep a little space between chin and chest. Little poses out for the band. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Open, close the legs for five. Four. Three. Two. One. And return. Quick break. I like to always unleash the right and to the left. Feel good on my back. And return. So let's put the band around both feet, right on the balls of your feet, balls and toes. Legs up, elbows down by your side, try to find a neutral pelvis here. Point your toes up and flex, letting the hamstring stretch. Point, flex, point, flex. Point, flex, so we're gonna keep the flex, lower the legs down, the arms might straight with this movement, abs in, exhale, legs up with control. So it's just a lower lift on the legs with some support, make it easy, you don't have to go all the way to the floor, go up, you can keep your uh, pelvis and hips stable, abs engaged, and up, two more, down, and up, last one down, now we're going to keep the legs down, start to roll head, neck, shoulders, the bend is going to assist you to come to a sitting, tall position, straight your arms, roll your elbows back, three, use your arms and the tension of the bend to sit taller, one more, Straight your arms, point your toes, start to roll back. Shoulders back, let's roll up, head, neck, shoulders, navel to the spine, roll. Find a very tall position, extend your arms, roll the elbows back, parallel, close your body. Three, two, oh, one. Straight your arms, roll down, shoulders back, point your toes, navel to the spine, engage your thighs. Last one. Roll, sit tall. In this last one, you're going to do the roll with open wide elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades, engage your legs. Two, and one. Keep the elbows back. We're going to close and open, just like a chicken wing. Close, sit tall. Push yourself up, engage your legs. Two. Last one. Keep the elbows lifted. We're going to roll the right elbow back, extend the left, rotating to the right, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, stand. Exhale, left side. Right arms straight and sitting taller to rotate. Inhale, sound. Exhale, right. Inhale, sound. Exhale, left. Inhale, sound. Last one inside. And I'm going to roll myself all the way down. Right leg stay on the band, and we're gonna take the left one off. We're gonna lift this right leg. So we're gonna hold the band, both sides on the right hand. Open the other arm to the side. We're gonna open, so this here, the base leg can be either straight or bent. The bent is gonna feel more supported. Whatever works better for you. Close, go all the way across to the other side, switch hands. Let's do two more, all the way to the right, so you always switch hands. 
is the hand off the side, the legs go into, that is hold. Try to keep the hips stable and neutral in center, return all the way to the left, so left hand. Oh, one more time. Center, last one. And return. Let's switch sides. I like to put both legs together on the band to switch. Remember your base leg can either be straight on the floor or bent if you need more support for hips and back. Hold both sides of the band on the left hand. The other arm is always on the floor for a little support. The leg goes, hips stay. As more as you can find a neutral here, the easiest should be to keep the hips stable in center. Return, the arms assist. Switch hands to uh, send the leg to the other side. across the midline, that is this one, one that I'm doing right now, I do let my hip come off the floor. So left leg is moving, left hip is lifting a little bit. And return. I'm going to have both of my feet together on the band, legs up, arms can be unbent for assistance. That's the challenge. We're going to do the teaser from here. So you want to lower the legs down. And while the legs are going down, we are rolling up, finding a balanced leg, upper body. Good. Start to keep you, uh, start to really use your arms to find this box. Hold your teaser. Five, four. If that feels crazy for you, just bend your knees, place your feet down, or keep balance with the knees bent. Two, and one. Now the legs are going to go slowly down while I roll myself to the floor. Shoulders back. I like to arch my back off the floor on purpose. So you see here, my low back. My actually my whole back is lifted to compensate a little bit the flexion. Now let's go again. Close this spine space. Use your arms. The legs are gonna start to lift. Rolling head, neck, and shoulders up. We are trying to find that balance right behind the sit ball. Shoulders back. Legs engaged. Hold five, four, three, two, and one slow, legs down. If the legs going down feels too heavy for you, you can just instead lower the leg down, lift the leg. Okay, so whatever works best. Arch the back, two legs are down. Let's go again, engage your core. So it's light. Slightly tuck on the pelvis. This is not even a tuck, but it's towards a tuck. Lift your legs, engage your core. Using the arms for assistance. Find the up, uh, the V position. Breathe the ribs back. Now we're gonna try straight the arms and roll. Two more. Straight. It's more challenge with straight arms. We don't have assistance here. Exhale, roll. Two. Last one. And let's go slowly down, rolling the back. Legs can either be going down or challenge or going up for a little easier motion. Whew. Now make sure that you rest your legs on the floor. Good. Let's. Bring the band back to the hands. Feet are on the floor, parallel, hip width apart. We're gonna start doing some bridgings. First thing that you're gonna do is just the hinge bridge. So the hinge bridge, your spine go straight up. 
right? The movement starts on the glutes. Just push up and find a full breathe. So that's the first one you're gonna do. You're gonna slightly open the band, send the hips up to the ceiling, arms go back and overhead. If it is comfortable to your shoulders, if it is not, keep your arms up, just pulling out on the band. Now arm, the hips go all the way down, hands come all the way towards the thighs. Exhale, hips up, arms go overhead, close the ribs, all the way down. Two. Last one, exhale up. Now keep the arms on the floor, overhead, still pulling out a little bit, ribs closer together, roll the spine down, trying to maintain the arms back there. For shoulder stretch, mobility, find your neutral pelvis and restart, tuck to roll up now. So now we are articulating the back, hold on top, squeeze the glutes, roll the spine down. One more time. Stay lifted and just the arms come to the hips. We're gonna open the band. Five, four, three, two, and one. Roll your spine all the way down. Very good. Lose the band for a second. Let's come to a figure four stretch. So right ankles cross it on the other thigh. the hips on the floor. Ideal here is neutral spine, right? So a little arch on the low back. Switch sides. Turn, shaking out your legs. Um, side position. We're gonna just do a little uh, rotation here. We're not gonna use the band for this one. So it's like half plank-ish. So for arms on the floor, elbow down. I'm gonna keep my bottom knee on the floor and the top leg is straight. So the top leg is right on the side of the foot. Reach the free arm up, it's my left right now. Let's just try the needle here. Inhale, pull up, up, two more. Last one. And up, hold. You're gonna, you can just hold here for plank or extend both legs on the sides of the feet. Now I'm gonna lower my hip down, lower the arm too. Exhale, I'm gonna engage my side. Take the hip up, reach the arm and stretch over. Inhale, hip down, bring the hand to your hip. Two more. Lift, stretch the top side. Last one, lower down. Exhale. And return. Hips down, bend both knees. Come up to sitting and just stretch toward the other side. And return. One more stretch to the same side. And return. Great. We're going to do the other side in a few. For now, let's just lie down on the stomach. Um, we're going to have the band behind the back. So I would put the band first behind. Turn to your belly. Forehead is on the floor. Arms is straight by your hips. Um, the palm is gonna be facing up to. Oh, uh, sorry. The palm is gonna be facing down to the floor. Forehead down. Legs is slightly apart. Exhale. Squeeze your glutes. Lift your chest. Lift your arms off your legs. Pull out on the band. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. In. 
inhale down, two more. Exhale, navel to the spine, squeeze the glutes, lift your chest, try to pull out on the band. Inhale down, last one. Hold. Five more seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one more all the way down. <sighs> Little break. Let's go our side to work on the other side. So just turn to your other side. I'm gonna face the camera. We don't need the band for this one. Top leg straight, elbow and shoulder in line. I'm keeping my bottom knee down, but you're welcome to keep full plank. The three arm goes up. We're gonna exhale three reps. Thread the needle. Inhale, return up. Two more. Last one. Okay. And return. You can either keep that or fully find your plank. We're gonna drop the hips down, bring the top hand towards the hip. Exhale, engage your bottom side. Lift the hips, plank, stretch up and overhead with the pre arm. Inhale down, hips down, hand to the hip. Exhale, lift. Last one down. Exhale, lift. And little break. Hips down. Bend both knees. Come to sitting position. Lift your left arm up and over. Stretch into the right. Return. One more. Very good. Let's finish here with one stand exercise to work a little bit of the legs too. Um, usually I do lunges, but I'm going to do curtsy lunge today, so we're going to do crossing. I might take the mat out. Yes. So you want to have your legs parallel, hip width apart, arms straight in front of your chest. Uh, you again can choose the resistance you want in this bend. You're gonna take your right arm, uh, your right leg, cross behind your left, the foot is on the floor, the toes are down. Try to bring the knee behind the opposite angle, open the bend, inhale, return. Last of five more. Curse lunge, crossing behind, close, exhale down. And up, last three. Last two. Last one, down and hold. So the knee is not touching the floor, right? The back knee, rotate, left and right. And left and right, one more. And return back to center. Relax your arms. Maybe do one of those full rotation of your arms back. And forward. Let's do the other side here. Arms forward, legs are hip width apart. So I'm taking my left foot, cross behind the right. Try to bring the knee, the back knee in line with the front ankle. And inhale, return. Exhale, cross. Go down as far as comfortable for your knees. And up, release the bench. And have three more. And up, two. You're welcome to lower the arms down a little more if you want. Last one. Stay low, whatever low works for you. Open the band, rotate it to the right. To the left. To the right. To the left. One more. And return to center. Close your band. You can go down to your knees for a little stretch here. So you're gonna have your right arm in front of your chest, left hand, so opposite hand, opposite elbow, press the straight arm in front of your chest. A little movement. 
hand here, other side. To push stretch the uh, tricep and a little the back of your shoulder. Little side to side if you're chain down. today is something that you could feel the whole body working uh, in a quick but effective workout. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope to again.